Justin, and I'm an addict. I'm nine months clean. Uh, when I was 16, I was, I was babysitting my little brother. Uh, and I had, I have taken all this Percocet and I, and I was unbelievably high. We've driven over to this park on the lake shore and he lost his shoes and I was like, mom's gonna kill me because I had no idea where his shoes were. But he was happy about it, you know? He was in his rest talks. He was just running around, kicking up the leaves, and we were having, we were having so much fun. We were just, we were just leaping around in this big piles of leaves, and he buried me, and I buried him, and he pretended that he was a train. So he was, uh, he was, he was charging through the leaves, making all these tracks. And, and I was, I was the caboose. So he kept going, coal caboose, coal caboose. And, and it was, it was time to go. So I, 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 I drove back. And I, I lost control of the car. And we, and we drove off the bridge. And the car, and the car went into the lake. And I, and I, and I couldn't get him out of the car, and he drowned, and I struggled with God so much because I can't forgive myself, and I don't really want to. I can live with it, but I can't forgive myself. And sometimes I don't want to believe in a God that could forgive me. But I do want to be sober. I'm alive. I'm present. And there's nothing controlling me. If I hurt someone, I hurt someone. I can apologize and they can forgive me. Or not. But I can change. And, and uh, I just want to share that and say, congratulations, you guys, that, that God makes you look up. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm so happy for you. But if he doesn't, come here. That's all. Thank you.